Hey guys, it is currently 10.22 in the morning on March 1st, but we're going to go ahead and talk about the supernatural stuff that I accomplished in February. February was a hell of a month. Um, some ups, a lot of downs. Um, <laughs> on the upside, I wrote over 50,000 words in the month of February, which I still can't believe. Also on the upside, I... Uh, moved Bean and Celine into a room together and they've been getting along well. On the downside, Jackie is also in there and Celine is being a major bitch about it. <laughs> uh, and Jackie will be moving back into my room with the boys after the boys are fixed because of Celine. There have been no fights, but she's being very cruel. Um, upside, I got two robo hamsters. I'll link the video introducing them down below. Um, downside, the biggest one, Willie's health isn't doing the best. Um, he's coughing a lot more, he's wheezing a lot more, he's panting a lot more. Currently he's sleeping and he's not panting and that's good, but he's been panting a lot. And the vet thinks that it might be time to put him on the third medication, even though it has only been about five months since he started treatment. So I've been focusing more of my time in February working on things that immediately earn me money or relatively immediately earn me money which has been my freelance tasks uh, freelance editing and currently working on advertising pet portraits um, for people and things have been um, a struggle <laughs> in between the ups and the downs and I've been doing my best and I'm doing my best to keep my chin up uh, Willie is keeping his chin up. He takes just about everything that goes on uh, like a champ. And I'm just doing my best to try and stay as level-headed and calm about everything as I possibly can. So that way I don't stress him out because he is a very, very sympathetic and empathetic boy. And I don't want us to be going around in a circle stress like we did after his first vet appointment. So I'm doing what I can. <laughs> uh... And we're going to go from there, but we're going to start with the supernatural stuff on February 11th, which was the first time that I worked on anything supernatural. And that was 1,202 Words in a Christmas Cannibal. That is the first book in a still untitled series featuring a homicide detective, Miguel, who finds out that not all monsters are human. And he also finds out that psychics are real. <laughs> That's a point that I just hit pretty recently in the book. Um, and it wasn't a point that I knew about beforehand. I mean, I know that I personally believe in psychics in real life, but I also know that in my world, psychics are real, so that part didn't surprise me. But I wasn't aware that that's something Miguel was going to find out, especially in the first book. But he has, because the man who babysits his son is a psychic. <laughs> um, on the 11th, I wrote 186 words in Hospital Zombie. Again, that's not his real name, um, but it's a zombie novel that takes place in a hospital, and that's just what I'm calling it because I don't have a name for it yet. Um, this one is based on one of the groups that was in, Courses in the, Corpses in the Night, which is the last zombie novel I attempted writing, and with Hospital Zombie, I'm trying to scale back as much as I possibly can and hope that that helps me actually successfully finish a zombie novel for the first time in a very, very, very long time. On February 13th, I wrote 722 words in King of Darkness. This is the second book that I am writing for the Hellish series. I'm assuming that it will be a novella, but it could be a novel. I'm not 100% sure. But it features Lucifer and his boyfriend Fagin as they try to find first attempt, attempt, and put her back in her cage before she destroys the world or hell. <laughs> uh, first attempt being God's first attempt at making an archangel that didn't go so well. Um, all the way down to February 26th, I wrote 1,262 words in A Christmas Cannibal. On the 27th, I wrote 978 words in Hospital Zombie. And on the 28th, I wrote 1,048 words in King of Darkness. That is all that I have for the Supernatural stuff for February. Hopefully here in March things will go better. Um, hopefully the vet appointment will bring relatively good news when that happens. Um, 
there's not really much good news that comes from heart failure. Um, but that's something that I'm aware of going in and it's something that we've been dealing with for months now. So uh, hopefully here in March, the updates will be a little more regular. The filming will be a little more regular and hopefully March will just be a little easier in general. But we will see and I will hopefully keep you guys posted on a more consistent basis. But that is all that I have for the Supernatural Work in Progress video of February 2021. If you enjoyed this video, a like is always appreciated. And if you'd like to stay updated on my writing, my editing, the animal videos I upload roughly every Wednesday, or the gaming videos that I upload roughly every Friday, or anything that I do on this channel in between, feel free to subscribe. All the links to my author's pages, as well as links to my social media, are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.